So now we're just gonna destroy the Russians lab where they're producing Go all strong. these stupid Let's chemicals. Yalla, yalla, yalla. Perimeter's open, Kate. We're moving in. Ah, oh, they're playing as Alex. Okay. Sweet. We are destroying the crap out of anyone who stands in our way. Jesus Christ. Oh, hey, hey. What's up? Oh, hi. We have a tank here. Uh, laser marking? I don't see anyone that needs laser marking. Oh. <laughs> Are there people over there? But uh, they're kind of dead. So <laughs> this is freaking awesome. We have a tank here. Nip this dude out. All right, here. These guys are really long distance. So. Got him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Oh wait. Can I just. I don't get what's, what's this mission. Oh, well, they're, 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 they're yelling at me for like, not doing anything, but dude, we have a freaking tank here, but... They're freaking good. I have a sniper. Dude, this is crazy. Got him. Alright. Just gonna go ahead and target that. Alright. Oh, this dude sucks. Yeah, them. Oh, yep. Target them. Oh! Ooh. Why isn't it? Why isn't it? Why weren't the why weren't the bombers falling? I was watching them. <sighs> okay. I uh, got that out. What is happening? Oh, that's cool. I think we can't use laser marking anymore. I don't see anyone. I don't know where they are. Is that helicopter ours? Oh, no, it was not. <laughs> I thought that helicopter was ours the entire time. Okay. So Mark, go ahead and mark uh, all of those guys. Like, all of them. Every single person. Oh my god. Anyone else? Imagine we can just use like the uh, air strike to just kill Barkov. That'd be epic. I wonder if this is the final mission. I'm starting to think it is. Oh my god. Definitely makes such lit. Oh, Barkov is here. Yeah, we are. This, if I was him, dude, I'd just like, just leave in a jeep. Uh, I've healed. Is that everyone? Yep. Seems good here. Made a full on sweep. Reach the lab facility. That, oh, that seems like it's gonna be easy. Oh, wait. What's happening? There's, uh, there's more gunfights. Whoa, that's a helicopter. Oh, I can't target him. I have an RPG, there's an RPG back there. Oh my god, oh my god. Can I pick it up? Can I pick up the RPG? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's right here. There's the helicopter. Where's the helicopter? It's right there. Did I bring it down? Nope. 
I missed both shots, dude. Just screw these guys. Come on. Hit him. Oh, they missed. They keep missing. There we go. Finally, third time to start. Here we go. Who else wants to die? Come on, come on, come on. Alright, ah, I don't have to drop my sniper. Okay, I just need to pick it up. Yeah, this is a pretty cool final mission, everyone. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. That's if it's this is the final mission. Why is the grenade? Oh my god, I hate this. I just killed an enemy. I mean, not an enemy, a teammate. Whatever. Alright, so this like where? Oh, this stupid dude? Why are we wasting missiles on those, like, on that one dude? But okay. Is that it? No, nope. no. Nope. Okay. Anyone else? There are people. Uh, General Barkov better be in here. Echo team, this is your start oh. line. Find your way to Nikolai for the charges. <laughs> it is, I have a feeling this entire place is just gonna blow up. Let's go to work. You're well armed for a lab. Oh. Okay. okay, okay, okay. That was pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty cool. These guys were smart, they, they outsmarted us. Can I turn my night vision? Or do we even have those? Whatever. Okay. I still didn't pick up my sniper. Something tells me I'm not gonna be able to use that air strike in here. <laughs> That's a good name. Why are you throwing grenades inside of a freaking chemical factory, you idiots? What are these people doing? Nah, that weapon has a secondary weapon. Screw it, they're gonna play around with explosives? I'll play around with explosives. The heck they think this is? Alright. I think it's I think it's safe. Is it? I don't know how to get up there. There's still people. I don't know where. But, but actually, if I die, dude. What? Ooh, he was. I see where they are. God, that's annoying, dude. Just, oh. I don't care, exit. I gotta start all the way back. Oh, I love it. I love this game. I'm just throwing everything, dude. I legit don't care anymore. I want this to be over. I want this to be over. Checkpoint reached. I killed more in, that, in those two grenades than I did when I was firing. Cause I just got a checkpoint. Where are you? I don't see him. I don't see where these bullets are coming from, dude. Literally, they're invisible. Like where? Probably because we're in the dark and have no night vision. I love it. I love how they give you an option to like adjust your brightness. But if you make it low, you're screwed. You might as well just quit the game. You're done. If you make your brightness low in this game, you might as well just quit the game. You might as well delete it. Like, there's nothing you can do. This is my least favorite co uh, card campaign, but I forgot Black Ops is a thing. Yeah, this is my uh, second least favorite card campaign ever. 100%. It's annoying. You get, you die way too easily. There's absolutely nothing that goes on in the story. I could not care less for any of these characters. It's dumb. Captain Price is boring. How did they make Captain Price boring? Wasn't he the dude who was like freaking the savage who like took no one's crap? He still is, but he does not he doesn't ever do anything cool. 
my god this campaign what a mess I hope this is the final mission Jesus Christ these guys I don't know who camp more these enemies or the the multiplayer oh my god I don't see him, because it's probably too dark. I'm not even like stopping it, I'm just going to the level. I'm just sweating to these enemies at this point. I legit don't care. I didn't know level three! No one here. Aim shot from years away. Yeah, there's really nothing here. Oh, there might be. Sweet. There's something that I did. Alright. Nothing here. Hi, Nikolai. Get Let's get the charges. the charges, baby! We're gonna blow this popsicle stand, or the gas start stand. Blow the furnace, the rest follows. Correct. Don't lose it. Why help us? Barkov is a stain in my country. It will not stand. Hey. Let's go, Nikolai. I'll take the rest of Price and Sergeant Garrick. See you on the other side. Alright. I didn't even see this dude. Yeah, a shot that he was firing at us. I didn't even see him. That's sad. Alright, let's uh... Let's start putting human life. Yeah, this, these developers have no regard for human life. They were not regarding this, the pain and torment people are gonna have playing this campaign. Cause oh my god, this is bad. Oh. Look at you! I, by the way, up until uh, Hot Ears Patrol, I legit did not care at all about this campaign. Like, I, I care some now because it got super interesting. So, yeah. Uh, no, I'm out of ammo. I'm going to get some guns. Oh, look at you. Where are you at? I can't probably see anything because it's so freaking dark in here. I, I don't care where he is. Alright. Oh, hi! Oh, uh-oh. Yeah, you know what? Dude, let's, that's a juggernaut! Yeah, that's a juggernaut! I, I remember him from Spec Ops! Oh, we're supposed to hide from him. Oh, that's the dude. Okay. Do I gotta sneak attack him? I think I gotta sneak attack him. Where's he at? Anything I can do from behind? Dude. Oh, he's about to blow up, dude. Look at this dude. You're gonna die, dude. Oh, wait. No, I just got to send in every last round. That's why. That's, that's what's happening. <laughs> I'm trying to press button again. Oh, wait. This, this, this bell right here. I gotta leave him to the bell. Come on, dude. Come on, where I am. It's chill over here. We got nachos. We got nachos. Come on. Come on. Come on, dude. Follow me. Yo, so apparently bells, like, if they get shot by a shotgun, they don't blow up. Dude, did you guys know that? Because I didn't know that. Apparently, like, explosive bells are immune to shotgun rounds. Dude, that's crazy. I never knew that, dude. Oh, my God. It's almost like this campaign's garbage or something. Yo, hold on a second. Let me uh, plug up my headset. My headset's about to die from how bored it is of this campaign. Okay, good. Alright, what's that? Why are you charging? Okay. You know what? I got something better. I'm gonna lead him over here. That's not good. Oh crap. I did it. Let's go, dude. Oh my god. We can stay down. Alright, okay. 
Oh yeah, dude. This dude is to take it off in a jeep. He's taken out in a freaking helicopter. On it. All right. Why do I have to open it now? Oh, we got a cutscene. Something dramatic's gonna happen. Yeah. It's gonna be something Stop. dramatic that happens here. That made us fucked. Uh oh. Stead. That's cool. I'll go in. Do what? Ignite the summons. You'll never get away in time. I know what I'm doing. Far. Go and listen to me. Because of this poison, my people have known something worse. Oh, she's going to kill herself. Come this far to come back. I'm not asking you to come back. I'm asking you to give me the order. I won't do that. Come here, please. Oh. I am not your CEO. Then who is? Because someone needs to light this fire, and someone needs to kill Barkov. You can't do that. Wow. These two, these two have come a long way. These two have come like a long way since they uh, met up. Wow. Dude, Alex is freaking awesome. Alright, so he agreed to do it so that she could be the one to kill Barkov. Because she was like, if I see Barkov, I'm going to be the one to kill him. So now she has to kill, be the one to kill Barkov. I'm, I'm, I'm playing as Garrick now. Let's go. Yeah, we only played as two characters, didn't we? We played as uh, Kyle and... um. What's his face? And uh, Alex. Whoa. Okay. I don't know how this works. This is stupid. That's good, man. Oh, we have a other gun. Oh, I love this gun. It's freaking shooting fast. I love guns that shoot fast. <laughs> Mini gun? Excuse me, Mini gun? What? What? I think he's right there. Yep. <laughs> Hello. I feel like uh, I feel like the T eight hundred and Terminator two. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at you. You suck. Oh. It's not as satisfying as that uh, one mission, Black Ops 1. This is probably my favorite Black Ops 1 mission. Uh, I'm not favorite Black Ops 1 mission, favorite COD campaign mission. But hey. Still pretty cool. Oh, it's exploding car. It gave me a warning, thank God. I love how it started giving you warnings now, because in the previous COD games, it never gave you any warnings. It was just. It's just gonna blow up, and you have no idea. Unless you look at it. Yeah, but I mean, you're too busy shooting enemies. He's gonna look at exploding car. And by the way, screw you. I hate you. <sighs> oh, blow up, please. There we go. Oh, hi, hi, dude. What's up? Uh, what's the story, dude? What's the story? What's the story? Stop shooting me! Uh, and uh, as always, the AI is wonderful in this game. Pushing me. Pushing me instead of, like, being tactical. No, they're just pushing me. Like, it, honestly, dude, these enemies could be swapped out with zombies, and it would be the same thing. Because, like, think about it. In COD Zombies, what do, they, what do the zombies do? They, they don't think, they don't strategize, they just run after you. This is literally what the enemies are in this game. They just run after you. Except that they have guns. Like, dude, I didn't know I was playing COD Zombies. What is this? The only difference being that COD Zombies was fun and actually... It, you Wait, I just realized COD Zombies has a better narrative than this actual story mode. Like a side game mode where you shoot zombies 
has the it has so much of it, this narrative doesn't even compare to Kai Zombie's narrative. And that mode has a better narrative than the actual story mode, dude. Like that is sad. That is the saddest thing I I think I've ever said out loud. The fact that this game's campaign has a worse story than um zombies. No, you know what? This campaign has a worse story than Extinction by far, dude. I think every single side mode introduced in Call of Duty had a better story, dude. Exo zombies, COD Infinite Warfare zombies, which by the way was like one of my favorite zombie seasons. Black Ops 1, the Trail zombies, I mean. Uh, Chaos. Such a barrel. I'm waiting for it to explode. I don't have, I don't have any more. I don't have my minigun. Used too much of it. Where's the grenade blow up? It should blow up. Blow up, please. It blew up that time, not- okay. As always, the war machine is useless. Minigun! This dude has a minigun, this probably will have more ammo. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, that was the minigun I dropped. Well, Honestly, uh, a minigun with no ammo is more useful than that grenade launcher, so I'd just take this. Alright, set the charges, let's go! Alright. Pipeline charge is hot! Oh, out. Oh, Nikolai, where are you? Dude, Barkov's gone. Oh. Oh. Well, I don't know how she did that, but... Stand down. Alright. Oh, I'm playing a fair. Oh yeah, I already did this. Oh, that's that. Can I just go already? Okay, let's get this dude. That was time, by the way. Oh, why? All these years later, and she still doesn't know how to stab enemies from behind. That's, that's sad. Stab him in the face, you moron! I'm still right. here! Oh, by the way, this subtitle is going on. Oh my god, just die, dude. Freaking, she's the, she's the worst stabber in the world. Like, his head's right there, dude. Just do that. I told you, father. Uh... Oh, I want to say X, but I'll say square. That seems more fitting. This is for my family. This is for Hadir. Let's go, baby. Alright. Dead. I want to see his body. Aww. Wow. That took way too long. What's the statement? Captain. Barkov is dead. Roger that. Alex. Charge is set. Affirmative, sir. Alex. I'm not getting out of here. Let's do it. All clear, Captain. Roger. All stations on my mark. Three, two, Let's one. Let's do this. Hey! Alright, rip Alex. Alex was chill. Alex was like... Alex and Kyle are easily like the best characters in the game. That was cool too. Oh. Mother Russia would approve. Oh, hey! Oh, that's cool. That guy was the pilot. <laughs> Where's Oh. Alright. Uh, yeah, Fella. What's. Uh, yeah, Fella, Kyle, and Alex are the only two characters I like. Everyone else was just dumb. Captain Price was terrible in this game. I did not like. He was just there. T. Uh, you know what? He's good. He's good in this game. If you if you don't think about the other games, but like he was so much better in the other games, he wasn't here. They, I think they just included him in here for fan service. General Shepard pulled the files you asked for. What exactly is this? That's all his fault. Uh. Did you need to take them? Sakaya wants Barkov's throne. 
Who's a Kai? Wait. Oh, was in I remember. That was the father. This is the son, Victor. Lovely family. We're big fans of hot dogs. I don't want to explain why he's still alive. Oh. They're going to get him now. Give me what I need. Oh, that's cool. He's like, he's just like, if you want me to take care of the problem, then you give me what I need to take care of the problem. Sergeant Guy. Guy? Yeah. Woo! Woo! Gaz! I don't know who John is, but I know who Gaz what? is, dude. Wait, what's. Dude, Gaz is freaking is. awesome. I, he was awesome in Simon the. Yeah, yeah. Shoot, Simon. Oh, wait, is he gonna say soap? Never. Not a burst. That's neat to know. How much we have here? What are you calling this task force? Spec Ops. One, four, one. Okay. Um, I don't know what 141 means. Ah, oh, I forgot. Uh, anyways, everyone. Okay, wait a minute. I need a. I need a. Hold on a second. Alright, everyone. I was just to party chat so you guys could like hear my audio better during this loud music. Anyways, that was Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Jesus Christ, what happened? <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Alright, listen. The visuals are breathtaking. This game, easily, probably the best looking first person shooter I've ever played. Um, the missions, uh, okay, m some of the, there are some missions in here that are just downright amazing. Easily some of the best Call of Duty missions. That one mission where we were the children in Russia, that one mission where we like we had to invade the house, the underground tunnels, well never mind, not those, <laughs> but other missions like that, those missions were so fun. There were a lot of fun missions in this game. Like a lot, there, there were like some, there were some fun missions in the game, like half of the game was fun. However, the thing that, okay, so you guys are looking at me, you're like, okay, you have, you have some fun missions and breathtaking visuals, so what, what's, what's the problem? This story sucks, it's absolutely god awful, I hate this story. Like, I, I like, I, I hate it, cause nothing happens. It is the most boring card campaign ever, nothing happens. Literally, all we do is, Russia has gas, cool, we go. We stop the gas. There's a betrayal along the way. That's it. This this uh, this story feels like something that I'd write on Storyfire during like my first days on that platform. If you guys don't know, Storyfire is like an app where you can write stories. You should uh, definitely follow me on there. <laughs> Link in the description. But yeah, this seems like something that I'd write on Storyfire. Cause like, I I I guys, I swear to God, I'm not even kidding. I I, I just realized I wrote this game before it came out. These guys stole my story from Storyfire because this is the exact game. I had this story called Road War 3 and it basically involved these guys and like this other country was like evil and like was like making all these um was making these chemicals and then they go to stop the chemicals and like one character betrays them on the way and was like uh and like was working with them and then they stop the chemicals and have like a final fight with the villain this i wrote this game before it came out because oh i'm, I'm making the credits go fast because nothing happened this game was so freaking boring that all right none of the characters were interesting except for three and by the way i said i like these three characters but none of them were good characters they were fun characters but they weren't good I don't know a lot about Farah. I don't know a lot about Alex, nor do I know a lot about Kyle. They were just cool people that I was just like, okay, that's- He's nowhere near as fun as he was in the previous Modern Warfare. I don't know what happened here. Um, but yeah, the villain, who cares? They, this game had two villains. No, three villains. And I didn't like, I didn't like, I didn't care for one. B the Butcher was the best villain out of all of them. And that was because he raided an embassy and shot children. Alright. That villain was cool because he was heartless and intimidating. Other than that though, guess what? He only had two missions. We only had two missions and he got ran over in the most funny part of the entire game. And I laughed at him. And then Barkov, I don't know anything about him. He's just some lame terrorist we have to kill. 
and the wolf is just some lame terrorist we have to kill. We don't know anything about anything. We don't know anything about these characters. It's just so bad. This this game is so heavily plot focused, except there's no plot. I've never seen a game that focuses so hard on the plot, but doesn't have a plot, except one simple premise. Stop Russians. Stop the gas. That's the only thing we did throughout this entire game. Like, it's so dumb. I, I, I cannot fathom how this, how, who wrote this. This is the, oh god, it's so bad. Oh man, I'm ranting. Oh, oh, I just went on a huge rant, but I just can't. I can't with this car campaign. It was so disappointing. They took my, my, the Modern Warfare series. The first Modern Warfare campaign was really iffy. However, I gave, I gave that campaign an excuse because that was one of the first car campaigns ever to come out, alright? It was, a, it, was, it was the fourth campaign, and that was back then when they weren't really like hugely focused on narrative. I gave I gave them an excuse. I was okay with that. And then Modern Warfare 2 had a freaking awesome campaign. I played through it. And Modern Warfare 3, while I've never played that game, I watched the playthrough of it because you know, I wanted to see how the story ended. And I, I loved the narrative. I wasn't even playing the game, and I couldn't have fun playing it, but I had fun watching it because the story was that good. And then you have this. This abomination, right? This is this is so terrible. This is easily probably this might be the worst card campaign, guys. I'm not I'm not sure yet because Black Ops 3's campaign was really bad. But at least, like I said, you could have fun with that campaign. You can invite your friends and laugh at how garbage that campaign is. This campaign, you can't laugh at it. It's so boring. It's so simplistic and primitive and dumb. Nothing nothing happens. Oh, Jesus, I had to let all of that out. And this is such a... Wait, guys, I just wanna... Isn't this such a major step back from Infinite Warfare's campaign? I'm dead serious. This is the biggest step back I've ever seen. Infinite Warfare's campaign had amazing characters and a, a great plot. It was... That was the most heart-wrenching campaign I've probably ever played. Like, that was easily the saddest campaign I've ever played. It was so good. They upped their game from Modern Warfare 3. It was that great. And what did they do? They make this. They make this as a thank you. Like, <laughs> and you know what? It's not even these guys' fault that this game exists. Like, I, I said at the beginning of this playthrough that I hope this game is good enough for me to justify it, its existence, but it's it's not. But it's not Infinity War's fault that they made this. It's the fan base. I know you guys are saying you're just shifting the blame. No, I'm dead serious. It's the garbage card fan base that has to blame for this game coming out. Because if they had just shut up, right, and just like, instead of complaining about new stuff being introduced, just look at the game for what it was then we could have avoided this game from releasing and we would have had an Infinite Warfare 2 that would have been an improvement of the first game and, uh, um, and it, would, it would have continued the great campaign, it would have continued the great zombies but no! We took a major step back because these guys were too scared to do anything new because the fan base doesn't want anything new but then whenever they don't get anything new they complain! What do you guys want from, these, from the studio? Do you guys want a, a new Call of Duty campaign that introduces new features? Or do you want the same old same old make up your mind already because I'm tired of being just the dude who just sits in the back and just like goes with whatever happens dude like, I'm, I'm, I'm so tired of that like holy crap I'm so tired of this I'm so tired of playing a card campaign and knowing that we're never gonna get a sequel because these fans can't make up their mind on what they are gonna complain about. Like, holy crap, this is so stupid. We would have had an Advanced Warfare 2 with with a great campaign instead of World War 2 that had a terrible campaign. We would have had an Infinite Warfare 2 with a great campaign instead of this. Like, we would have. Oh my god, dude. Treyarch. I give Treyarch a lot of flack for all of the decisions, but I respect them because they don't listen to the garbage fan base because they know it's a waste of time to do so they know that it's an absolute waste of time to please everyone because no one's going to be pleased and I, I hope other studios do that too i hope the sonic games start doing this i hope everyone starts doing what Sherlock's doing because they don't give a crap about what the fan base wants and they make whatever they want to make and they turn out good products like Okay, now right. maybe I maybe that was wrong. Okay, <laughs> oh that's a cool picture. All right, okay, listen, listen, listen. All right, Sonic Forces was okay. It was mediocre. Sonic Mania was amazing. All right, 
Sonic Lost World was alright. Sonic Generations was great. Like, they're not releasing bad games. They're, they're, they're making... They're trying to please everyone. Like... Oh. Oh, what is this? Are they... Are they sequel baiting? Don't sequel bait, dude. Because it's never going to happen. Oh, my God. What is this, dude? Who is this? Oh, that was the dude in COD 4, wasn't he? I remember that guy. He was escorting like a a, a jeep. I was like, okay, I don't, I don't know. That was the. Oh, okay, I thought that was the end. I was about to be like, what is happening, dude? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I s yeah, he was in the f first card, card four. He was in card four. Camera off. Well, he sounds familiar. What? What? What is this? They, 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 they just the story can. Oh, oh, oh okay. All right. Oh, good. I thought they were sequel baiting. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, I take back what I said, dude. I thought they were legit sequel baiting. I was about to be like, are you that dumb to sequel bait? Because I hate it whenever a card campaign sequel baits. Because it's never going to happen. At all. It's never going to happen. Advanced Warfare sequel bait didn't happen. Black Ops 3 sequel baited. But did it? No, okay. It left off. Uh, it left off. Uh, if you understand what the campaign was and like what was going on, it didn't leave off uh, as a cliffhanger. Um, Infinite Warfield didn't sequel bait, and that was it was right for them not to do that because you saw what happened here. Um, Black Ops 4 didn't have a campaign to sequel bait. Freaking idiots. Uh, World War 2 didn't. Okay, all right. Yeah. Oh no no no. Because Infinite Warfare zombies sequel baited. World War 2 zombies sequel baited. Everyone sequel baits. Like, don't sequel bait if you're a Call of Duty game, you're never gonna get it. You're never gonna get a continuation, because the fans are gonna complain. And guess what, guys? Guess what, guys? The philosophy came true. There are fans who are complaining about this game. They got everything they wanted. They got a, a Call of Duty campaign with Captain Bryce that went to the modern era and, and focused it on the Russians and the gas and stuff. They got a multiplayer that was boots on the ground, had all their weapons, had all these modernized maps, they had uh, Spec Ops back, but no one asked for Spec Ops. They had everything that they wanted, and they're still complaining, dude. Oh my god, like, whenever these devs just realize, stop catering to these guys, because they, they, you, you, it's a waste of time. Like, they're not going to listen. I wanted to love this game. I legit actually wanted to love this game. I wanted to come out of this playthrough and be like, Whoa, that was probably the best card campaign I've ever played. That was amazing. Oh my god, I love this. But no, I came out of this campaign ranting. I'm still ranting. I'm still pissed. What did I just play? I'm so mad. I'm, I'm actually really mad at what we had. We could have had something so good. They had everything set up for them. But then they went back to Modern Warfare to gain some additional cast off of its name. And, and, and to please the fans and it didn't work because the fans aren't fans they're just people who complain non-stop because they want something to complain about that's how people are that's how people work that's how people work in 2020 that's how all these SJWs are that's how everyone acts everyone needs something to complain about 
Don't try to please people. It never works out. <laughs> oh God. Oh man. I oh I have a headache. I I actually just went into SJW territory from this stupid campaign. Oh, I'm out of here. All right. I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, playthrough. I I don't know how you could have. I'm pretty sure all of you hated this playthrough because I did nothing com but complain. I'm sorry for that, guys. I'm sorry, but like I don't censor myself. I don't try to act a different way. I just be myself during these playthroughs. And this entire playthrough, I just I was just aggravated. So, yeah, I'm sorry for complaining a lot. I know that uh, you guys don't probably didn't, like, enjoy me whining for, like, nine videos, but I'm sorry. But I just, I couldn't, I couldn't take it. Alright, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this playthrough, uh, if you somehow did. Uh, if you somehow did, um, please like and subscribe, and as always, I will see you guys next year for the next Call of Duty, if it even has a freaking campaign. I can't believe I said that, but there's a chance that Chuck would just not even have a campaign this time. Please, God, don't have a battle royale and just have a freaking campaign, because they probably could have made a good one, but no, they made Black Ops 3, and then that was garbage, and then they made Black Ops 1 not have one. Because they didn't even try. Oh God. Oh. What a mess.